Hey guys, it's Heather from HMP Artistry here. As you can see, I've made a goat's milk soap here. It's my normal um, recipe. I have a little bit of sodium lactate, goat's milk, kaolin clay, um, olive oil, coconut oil, lard, castor oil, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, and avocado oil. I also, in my fragrance oil, it is cashmere woods and tonka beans from Rustic Essentials, and I added a little bit of vanilla color stabilizer to that because it does have some vanillin in it. And I am going to separate out my batter. And I'm going to do three colors. One is going to be white. One is going to be pink. One is going to be black. I'm using a pearl white winter white mix for my white, not titanium dioxide. I want this to look super smooth. I want to get every bit of this white out of the container. The reason I'm not using titanium dioxide is because it can get glycerin rivers if it gets too warm and because I'm using the goat's milk the soap is going to get rather warm um, and because I, I want to avoid them now we may still end up with them but I want to try to avoid them so I'm sort of doing a little bit of a test to see if this makes any difference. So we'll see if it does or not. But like I said, this is a winter white and a pearl white mica from Nurture Soaps. I am a stickler for scraping. That's what I'm over here doing. And this is a firecracker pink. I am doing this as a special order, but I'm going to have some left over to sell as well. And I'm hoping that I can get a really nice swirl in the center of this in the black. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to layer it necessarily the way I have in my head, but I'm going to try. See if you guys can see that. I still haven't gotten my new tripod. I think I'm going to ask for it for Christmas. Here goes the black, and the black is also a black pearl from Nurture. I think I'm going to end up calling this soap Tiffany. I have a soap that I'm going to name Athena. And Dixie. And Paige. Because I think I'm going to let some of the people around me inspire some of my soaps. And that was actually Miss Kiddo's idea because she wants me to make some soaps for her friends or little gift baskets for her friends. And we were talking about it and she decided that the ones that I make for her friends, I should name after them. And I sort of took that and ran with it. Okay. 
Okay, so I just put my fragrance oil in. Things are moving a bit quickly on me. So I am really, really hoping against all hope that this fragrance oil does not speed up Trace, that it maybe slows it down a little bit because um, I think I was soaping a little warmer than usual today and it's showing in my batter. So let's just hope that I'll still be able to get the design that I have in my head. Because that is never fun when you have this really beautiful idea and for some reason you can't get that to translate into what you're wanting. Okay, this is smoothing out really nicely, so I feel a little bit better now. I definitely feel better. Okay, so I am going to start <clears throat> with my pink. And I am just going to pour it in the bottom. Sort of like doing a layer, but not exactly. I'll save a little bit back. Can you guys see this? There we go. Okay. Next up is my black. For you guys that don't know me already, that are just watching because of the soaping videos, I thought I'd give you a little bit of information while I'm doing all of this stuff. You can go to my blog, hmpartistry.com. I have a soaping page that has a link to these videos. I also have a couple of recipes for some melt and pour soap on the blog. You just search soap recipe or soap and that should pop up um, but I also have sewing tutorials crafting tutorials paper crafting tutorials home hacks a few beauty hacks that are homemade beauty hacks that you can do in your house Uh, 
um, because I happen to love sewing. I do sewing and embroidery on the side of the soaping. I also make aprons and I'm letting this set up just a little bit. But I make aprons for kids, grown-ups. I embroider hand towels. I make tutu dresses. There is just a little bit of everything on my creative side that I like to that I like to do. I also work with children that have been bullied because my kiddo was bullied at school and it was a really hard time for all of us. Okay, let's see if I can kind of give this a little bit of shape. My cat is so mad. I wonder if you guys can hear that. He is so upset. He wants to go outside so bad. I'm just taking way too long for him. Right now, I'm going to get my mica. And we'll see if I can make this work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I sure am going to try. I want to dust the top. And this is Maya Gold from Nurture Soap. I do not have a little tea strainer. I've seen other soapers use a tea strainer, but I just tend to dust it. like a little bit of glitter almost and then okay sorry that took so long you guys I have everything kind of sequestered in their own little spaces I have oils in their cabinet I have butters in their own cabinet I have my lye in its own cabinet I have all of my colorants in their own space, my fragrances in their own space. The colorants and the fragrances are in the same cabinet, but I have them in separate areas. Okay, now let's see if I can swirl this the way I want to. Ah, oh, that's much better. Can you guys see that swirl happening? All right, you guys, there we have it. Hey, sorry, I'm back. I realized after I fixed my top that I didn't hanger swirl it, which was the whole point of this soap, was to hanger swirl the soap. 
Um, so I went ahead and hanger swirled it. I redid the top and fixed it. Added a little bit more gold mica. And then when I finished that, it still wasn't sparkly as I wanted because the color sort of blended. So now I'm back with my Snowflake Sparkle Mica. And I'm just going to dust the top a bit with some Snowflake Sparkle. Give it a little oomph. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to it as well. I love this Snowflake Sparkle. If you guys don't have it yet, you should probably get it because it's awesome. Okay, and... Let's do some twinkling lights. Just to give it a little extra oomph. Now I don't always add sparkles to my soaps because I think there are some that it's just not necessary on. But this one is special. So it needs as much sparkle and shimmer and shine as I can give it. person that I'm making this for is quite wonderful inside and out. There we go. See the sparkle. This is the Cashmere Woods and Tonka Bean. And I will be back with the cutting. Hi guys, it's Heather here to show you the Cashmere Woods and Tonka Bean Soap. Here's the outside. It's looking really pretty. I'm kind of excited about this one. I've already trimmed it up along my edges. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm gonna weigh it, make sure it's looks like they'll be four point five ounce bars when they are finished curing. I really wanted initially these to be really fine wispy swirls, kind of more like what's at the top, but it thickened up on me, so they're a little thicker of swirls, but I still think they're really pretty, and the pink is still a really pretty pale pink, and the white did turn a little creamy, but I really like it. I still ended up with a few little glycerin rivers, which never hurt anybody.
Oh, that one has a few air bubbles. Looks like that's going to be my bar of soap. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. And then I will cut this one up and this one for my sample soaps. This is Heather from HP Artistry wishing you luck, love, and a really great day, guys. Bye.